Hello, how are you? I hope you are well, I hope you are safe. Welcome today to our lesson. I'm teacher Anne from Greenview Schools. I'll be taking you through playgroup class environmental activities. Welcome. We're going to recite a short poem entitled Johnny Johnny. So let's stand up and say it. Johnny Johnny, yes papa. Eating sugar, no papa. Telling lies, no papa. Open your mouth, ha ha ha. Close your mouth, mm mm mm. Okay? I hope you have remembered that nice poem. Now, today we want to cover about fruits we eat. I believe at home you eat different fruits and I don't know if you mention them by the name. I will show you a sample of them, then you can relate with what we have. Okay? Let's go through our chat. What is this? I believe you can tell your parents. This is an apple. An apple. And the other one is an orange. This is an orange. An orange. Then we have the grapes. They are very sweet, round and tiny. Then we cut them, we slice them, then we eat them in small pieces. Then we have banana, a banana. I believe everybody have a banana at home. Show me if you have them. Tell your guardians you want to eat this fruit, some of them. This is a watermelon. The watermelon is in color green and red inside. You eat the red part and even the seeds. They are very nice and nutritious. Then we have the mango. The mango, I believe when you take the mango juice, they are very yummy, very yummy. Remember all these fruits, they are very good. They make us strong and healthy. Then you grow very tall like your mommy and daddy. Kindly at home, make sure you take the fruits here. Now, today's lesson, we want to differentiate the different fruits. And I want to make sure that when you're at home, when you're given a fruit, tell the parent or your guardian to mention the fruit by the name. I know by lunchtime you'll be having some fruits. Tell mommy, if you give me a banana, this is a banana. If you give me a melon, this is a melon. If you are given an apple, make sure you say it's an apple. Don't just say, I want to eat fruit. In Kiswahili, we call them matunda. So in case you have them at home, mention them by the name. Then we have a very beautiful activity we'll be doing. Today, we have agreed that we'll color very beautifully our different types of fruits that we have at home. I have showed them through the pictures, the way they look. We have different fruits with different colors. Make sure you pick a color that you know the name. When you pick color purple, say this is color purple. I'm going to color the grapes. The grapes are different colors. They are purple ones, they are red ones, but today we'll use the purple grapes. Then you come and start to color. I am coloring, I am coloring, look at me, look at me, can you do as I do, color, color, color. Now in all these circles for the grapes, make sure you use the purple color, the purple, and I see this is color, purple, it's color, purple, color nicely, color inside the circles of the grapes. Make sure it's beautifully done, very nice, very nice. You will color all the grapes, all the grapes in color purple. Then the leaves, you use the green color, the green color, color green. Make sure you mention the color of the one that you are using. So you color the leaves in the green, with the green color. I am coloring. Look at me, can you do as I do? Color, color, color. Color the whole leaf with color green. Make sure it's beautifully done, it's beautifully. And there is no color outside the lines, outside there. I am coloring, I am coloring. Look at me, look at me. Can you do as I do? Can you do as I do? Color, 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 color. Now you make sure that your work is beautifully done. Very beautiful. Make sure you color every part of the grapes and the leaves and they should be beautifully done. Now when you finish that, you will use color orange, color orange to color the orange. Make sure you use color orange. Then you have the yellow color there. 
yellow. What else is color yellow? The sun. Remember the sun also is color yellow. So you use the yellow to color even the banana and the orange to color the orange. And your work should be very beautiful. It should resemble these fruits that we have here. Now, our banana should be yellow in color. A ripe banana is always color yellow. So you color using the yellow color to make it beautiful. And you continue singing. I am coloring, look at me. Can you do as I do? Color, color, color. Now, you see how a banana is? Banana is yellow in color. Make sure you use the yellow color to color the banana. Make sure it's inside and neatly done. Now, that's our banana. Now, the orange. An orange is orange in color. So, we color. I am coloring. Look at me. Can you do as I do? Color, color, color. Also the orange, you use the orange color to color and make sure it's neatly done. The leaf, you use the green color. The green color to do a nice work. So when you're at home, when mom gives you the orange, you say this is an orange and it's orange in color. It's orange in color. Make sure it's neatly done. It's neatly done and it should look beautiful. Now that will be our assignment for today. You go at home. Now that will be our work for today, our activity for the evening. You tell your parents to give you the color and the fruits, you color them like this. The grapes, orange, banana. Make sure they are used with the correct color. Now. I'm glad that you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'm happy to be your teacher. That was the environmental activities. We were coloring the fruits we have. Thank you very much. Bye.